we won 4 nil against Wigan, really good game, Marco Marin, Anthony Knockhart and 2 for Paul Gallagher. Then, goal galore against Arsenal, away game, 3-4 uh, loss. Uh, Santi Casorla scored a hat-trick for them. Matija Nastasic, Liam Moore and Haydn got on goal. Again, decent amount of shots, uh, shots, but only four on target. Target and slightly possession for them. Probably draw would be a good, good on that, but yeah. Casorla managed to score. Score three goals. Then we grab one nil victory over Crystal Palace. Gennet McAvoy got that goal. Then draw one one against Liverpool. Robert Hath. And again a home game that we probably should have won. Uh, possession in our side. Good amount of shots equals to them, but yeah, Ricky Lambert scored on penalty that equalizing goal. Then, yet another disappointing dif uh, draw, this time against QPR, nil-nil. Managed to create a lot of chances, 23 shots, 7 on target, they got only five shots, nil, uh, none of them are on target, and possession also slightly for us. But I don't know what happened on this game. We we were we were awful. Um, Zheng Long only 6.3 average rating, and Didier uh, Didier Drogba didn't even get a rating rating on this. Defense was good, but on attack we were awful. Uh, then at the end of the season, two wins, first over Wolves, 2-1 Shane Long and Jack Rodwell. And the last game, Didier Drogba scored two goals, and we managed to grab 2-1 victory. And then we were, we were also in uh, FA Cup. Um, we won that uh, replay against Crystal Palace 2-1, Shelby and Drogba got on score sheet. Then we draw against Nottingham Forest on fifth round, managed to win that also 2-1, Shane Long got two goals. Then in sixth round we draw against Liverpool, won that also 2-1. Matija Nastasic and Tedrick Pojata are scorers there. Um, good game. They got a uh, decent amount of chances also, but yeah. Uh, if I remember correct, both goals came on corner kicks. So yeah, good win. Then on semi final, we had lucky we draw against Sheffield Wednesday with the team. Of that currently is on championship, managed to win, all, though only 1-0, Robert Hart got that 10th minute goal. Um, yet again, lot of chances, possession on our side, but only managed to grab one goal. Uh, Didier Drogba got 6.7 average rating. Yeah, And then, uh, on final, we face Arsenal and manage to win that, so that means that we are uh, we qualify on um, Europa League group, uh, group stage. So not ha we don't have to play those qualifying rounds. Uh, goals to Shane Long, Anthony Knockhart, and Leon Moore. Alexis chances. Go uh, Score twice for them, and yeah, equal game, but we managed to grab the win and another trophy for our captain. Then we were on, on Europa League. Um,
those who are in Twitter know how we did. Uh, we draw fir that first knockout round against Sporting. Uh, managed to grab one little win, win away game, Shane Long, and then crash it them at at home 4-1 uh, in Europa League we, uh, we had good chances and we capitalized those those but I don't know uh, why in league we didn't do that so Didier Drogba got two goals Anthony Knock got one and uh, on goal to Nabisar yeah that was a good win and then on second leg we drawn against Spartak Moscow uh, again one nil win at away game Nastasic got on score sheet and three nil win at home on goal to Romulo and Didier Dropa again score two, two for us then on quarterfinals we draw against another Moscow team Cheska uh, managed to grab nil nil at home, which was uh, a disappointing game, in my opinion, uh, uh, we got uh, possession a lot of that, um, but only managed to get one shot on target and uh, seven in a whole game. So we didn't create those chances in this game. Um, in that second leg, um, first time we played it, we won. 2-0, but just after the game, uh, the football manager crashes, and I had to play it again. And on second time, uh, it went to penalties, and yeah, luckily we managed to win, win that on penalties. Uh, Fraser For Forster was outstanding. Uh, he stopped Jelovic's and Jagoyev's attempts and. Yeah, Long, Albrecht and Hutt and Marin scored for us and we were through to, through to the semi-finals where we drawn against Everton, uh, managed to win at home 1-0, Mark Albrecht and scorers there and uh, away game we draw 1-1, again uh, Albrecht was the scorer in 89th minute and yeah, we were through to the final where we face Dynamo Kiev but uh, not uh, didn't have a, a good luck there like you see possession in our side and managed to get decent amount of shots but only three on target and that uh, Mbogani scored twice and also Fraser Foster didn't play that well then in that semi-final so yeah we lost that final final but yet again a decent decent run there and like you remember on that capital one cup we lost in semi-finals to Tottenham Tottenham so yeah uh, now we could look on how how season summary looks like. So yeah, in Premier League Tottenham were a winner, Sunderland, Wigan, Huddersfield got relegated, uh, Ben Teke was the top goal scorer with 20, 22 goals, uh, Eden Hazard got most of assists, 16, highest average rating was Theo Walcott, 7.34 there. We were overachievers, uh, media expectation was 10th and we managed to get five po uh, five places higher than that. Uh, Underperformer were Chelsea. They were expected to finish second and there was ninth. Uh, signing of the season was Didier Drogba. Runner up was Hull signing Gary Hopper for 5.5 million. Worst signing was West Ham's. Andy King, King, uh, five point two five, and if you remember, uh, Andy King was our player, and they signed them uh, him for 
our team so yeah good good business in our side of there um, on championship Man City like you remember last season they relegated on championship and managed to grab grab that win in 96 points they were dominant there uh, also Swansea and Burnley got promoted Leeds Brighton and Barnsley relegated uh, Brit Asso Asom Balongo was the top scorer with 26 goals. Douglas Santos got 17 assists and S Steven Warnock, Leeds player, got 7.52 average rating. Burnley was overachiever and Norwich underperformer. Um, best signing was Marco Paixao uh, signing for Watford. 400k and runner up at Barnsley's uh, Paul he Hefernan. Uh, worst first signing was Thomas Kalas signing to Swansea. Um, on Sky Bet League One, Birmingham was winner. Um, and Sky Bet League Two, Luton got pro uh, winner there. And um, FA Cup, we won that. Uh, Hobson got most goals, seven most assists got uh, Ngamvulu, six assists. Uh, then Capital One Cup Tottenham won. Lukas Jutskevic got five goals. Marco Marin, our player, got four assists. Uh, Community Shield Tottenham won. Uh, Johnstone Payne Trophy, Northampton, um, FA Carlsberg Trophy, Turkey, uh, Champions League, Group Stage Qualification, uh, okay, where Tottenham, Manu and Arsenal got to the Group Stage on Champions League, uh, Southampton get that best play best place at playoff spot. We were drawn in the group stage of uh, Europa League. Uh, West Ham will be placed on uh, Europa League playoff and QPR got that third round qualifying spot. Theo Walcott was the FAA player of the year. PFA player of the year was Eden Hazard. Uh, Golden Booth, Christian Penteke, PFA Young Player of the Year, Christian Eriksen, Tottenham, uh, Golden Glove got Hugo Lloris from Tottenham, and uh, Manager of the Year was Maret Pochettino, and I got that in second place on that category. Was there any of our players? Uh, no. Young Player of the Year. Chamberlain second, Ross Barkley the third place. Uh, Harry Kane was really good at this season. Uh, 21 goals. Really would like to sign him, but he's too way too expensive for us. Uh, yeah, no, no trophies for us there. So yeah, in. Next season, there's definitely I would like to like to grab that uh, Champions League position. But yeah, we can look that for our next episodes. Again, um, please, if you like this, subscribe and share these videos on Twitter and Facebook and uh, all around in social media. I would like to have uh, more viewers. If you like, press the like button, leave a comment. Uh, what you you would like to change? I should have uh, what kind of signings you want me to do and stuff like that. So yeah, I ended up here and we we'll see you on next time in our third season. So thank you for watching and bye.